Well, hello, imaginary audience. Today I'm going to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart. Food. I love food. I hate food. I have many, many opinions about food. I even have some recipes up on my cookbook blog, the laurentinacookbook.wordpress.com. Plug over. Amongst my many uh, opinions about food, I'm going to narrow it down today to two of them, which is I love food and I hate food. This is why, this is just how much I love food. I basically always want to be eating something. Like when I'm done, I'm like, that was fun. Let's go eat something. It's like really awkward when I take a break from working hard here in my kitchen and like snack or make lunch and then lunch is over, I put everything away, I'm like, let's get back to work. And I'm like, let's eat again. That was fun. That worked really well for everyone. I don't think there were any complaints about that. Why would we stop? So, um, that's just about how much I love food. Now, how much, how could I possibly hate food? Obviously, I, I don't mean that. But sometimes when I look at the food that exists in supermarkets or that the options that are available, I have so many problems with mm -hmm. everything. Like, anything that comes in a package, there's packaging. Anything that's not organic, probably, like, well, food that comes in packages, probably mostly chemicals. When you read the ingredients for a lot of things, it's kind of scary. There are words that I should have learned in chemistry class, but I don't think I ever took chemistry class. And I'm not so into that. Topic. I don't know what sodium benzoate is, and I don't think I'm stupid for not knowing what sodium... I don't even think I'm supposed to know what sodium benzoate is in order to be able to eat pita chips, for example. Maybe I shouldn't eat pita chips, because ingredients in that include wheat, which is totally genetically modified, which is... Like, you probably know this if you've met me. I could give you the spiel. But... So my mom today was saying, like, again... Um, Lauren, you need to eat meat because I'm uh, semi-vegetarian because I only eat meat if it's like organic, uh, kosher, and like really happy. I only want to eat dead things if they're happy. So she's like, I'm going to get you some lamb. It's from New Zealand. It's good. Now, I don't know whether lamb from New Zealand is like free-range, happily fed, and hormone-free. And she, she tells me it is, and I should trust her. Cause you should always trust your mom, right? But... I honestly don't know. And I, I, I've Googled things. I don't even know what to Google. I've looked at 20 different websites. They tell me 20 different things. It's like asking two Jews for five opinions. Or just asking me and I'll give you 10 opinions. If you, if you have any insight on this, please comment there. Below the video or wherever. Commenting is good. Thank you.